Hello, thank you for joining me in our product demo video. In today's video, I will demonstrate our end-to-end -end Zigbee IoT solution. Today, I would like to build an application to measure temperature values at two different places in our office and display the same on a dashboard constructed in cloud. This can be achieved in three simple steps. Step 1 is to configure the sensors. Step 2 is to configure the gateway. And finally, step 3 is to build a dashboard in our tangent IoT platform. Let me begin with step 1 that is configuring the sensors. For this we need to plug the sensor to the computer and power on the sensor. Then we invoke the sensor configuration utility. So this is the sensor configuration tool. We need to give a name to the sensor. So let me name the first sensor as cabin. We also need to give a unique sensor ID. So let me give the sensor ID as 1. Let me select the data transfer rate from the sensor to the gateway as 1 minute. We need to give a unique name to the Zigbee network, so let me name the Zigbee network as A. We then need to find the COM port on which the sensor is detected. Find that, select that COM port and then send the settings by clicking on confirm and then send buttons. We can notice the first sensor is now successfully configured. Let us similarly configure the second sensor. Let me name the second Zigbee temperature sensor as lab. Let the sensor ID of the sensor be 2. I will again select the data transfer rate from the sensor to the gateway as 1 minute. The second sensor will also be <coughs> a part of the same Zigbee network called A. We then find the COM port on which the second sensor is detected. Select that COM port from the list and send the settings by clicking on confirm and then send buttons. We can notice the second sensor is also now successfully configured. We are now done with step 1 that is configuring the sensors. Let us move on to step 2 that is configuring the gateway. For this let me power on the gateway. We can notice the gateway and the Zigbee temperature sensors have formed a Zigbee network of their own. Now to configure the gateway we need to first log in to our web configuration portal. So this is our web configuration portal. First we need to select the gateway from the list and let me click on connect button to connect to the gateway. The gateway is now successfully connected and now let us proceed to um, configure the gateway with the desired settings. I will select tangent IoT platform as the cloud platform where we need our gateway to report the data. Let me select the data transfer rate from the gateway to the cloud as 2 minutes. Let me also enable GPS so that our gateway device reports GPS coordinates to the cloud platform. So now we are ready with the settings for our gateway. We now send the settings to the gateway by clicking on the send button. We can notice the gateway is now successfully configured as indicated in the status bar. Let us now move on to step 3 that is building a dashboard in the cloud. For this, let me use my credentials to log in to the Tangent IoT platform. First, we need to register our gateway device. So, for this, I go to the Configure Devices tab. Select the device ID of our gateway from the list. Then, we need to add the parameters that are reported by our gateway. So, let me add cabin temperature. and lab temperature as the parameters that we wish to display. I also want the values to be reported along with the timestamp. Hence I add a third parameter of time to the list. So if we now save these settings and go to the monitor tab, we can see the two temperature values reported by the gateway along with the timestamp. Then I go to the dashboard tab. I add widgets to display the two temperature values. So first I add a first widget. I give the label as cabin temperature. Select the other attributes. I select the parameter to display as cabin temperature. I select the type of widget as gauge and I will set the minimum and maximum values for the 
which at a 0 and 100 now if I save the settings we can display we can see the cabin temperature displayed on the widget of type gauge similarly I add a second widget I will give the label as lab temperature I will select the parameter to be displayed as lab temperature and I want the widget of type gauge and minimum and maximum values as again 0 and 100 now if I save the changes we can see the dashboard page displaying the two temperature values in the form of widgets we can also plot the parameter values in the form of a graph for this I go to the graph page I add a graph with the label as cabin temperature and set the other attributes of the graph I select the parameter to be plotted as cabin temperature I want the type of graph as area graph and I want last 4 hours of data to be plotted so if I save the changes we can see the cabin temperature plotted in the form of a graph I similarly add a second graph to plot the lab temperature I will call the label as lab temperature and set the other attributes of my second graph I want the parameter to be plotted that is lab temperature the type of graph as again area graph and 4 hours of data to be plotted so we can see in the graph page both the temperature values plotted in graphical form so this is how simple it is to build any IoT application using our end to end ZigBee IoT solution thanks for watching